on Martin. You know, we came to work to laugh every day. Like Martin just comedic, his comedic brilliance was, you know, intoxicating. Like you just, you had, you, when he was doing a scene, you just ran out of your dressing room and you wanted to watch it because you knew it was going to be funny because you didn't know what he was going to do. What makes us so funny, everyone you see up here. Um, you know, uh, we work hard, I mean, on every script, each and every, every individual to, to make the whole script come together as a whole. Unfortunately, you know, Martin, you get to a certain place in stardom where, you know, okay, he was no longer part of the cast, but he was the executive producer, and now he's, a, so, you know, that distance started. Uh, being created, you know, between the two, and you know, the network has a lot to do with that as well. You know, they take care of the star, then everybody else is a piece of. Shit. That's just how it goes down, and you know, you just you embrace being a piece of. Shit. But Martin, unfortunately, you know, show business at a certain point in his life got the best of him, and when that happens, you see it happening, and there's nothing you can do about it. You know, you just you pray for that person. It's almost like watching a car crash that you can't stop. So when he and Tisha had their bout, um, what I always respected about the both of them, they never, neither of them made me feel uncomfortable. You know, right before Tisha left the set, because she had to, he got to that point, and I understood it. It, it's like, it's just like the Matrix. It was like, you know, you could hear silence. 